Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I think I'm a bit late to the party on this one. Um, I found out online that OnGuard had a modular sort of lock system where you can choose a few uh, cores, I guess. So this one is the um, slider lock. Here's the keys. So there's a whole bunch of keys, and this is a slider lock. And if you look down here, you'll see a little thing retract um, on this side, sorry. You see a little bar retract there as I open it. It's a very small movement, but a little bar retracts. And you can choose a whole bunch of uh, modular locking items. So this one is like a folding bar lock. You've got um, one of those rubbish rope locks and, and chains and um, a a uh, moderately light security kind of like snake lock out of metal, which is the one I bought here. And the idea with this is, I think, I mean, it's a nice idea, albeit all of these are super low security. I'm trying to find a security rating on this and I can't see one. Um, I would suggest two out of 10 having picked it. And yeah, so the idea is you got, and just because I can't bother to mess around with these clips, you have this armored snake lock type arrangement. Once this is unlocked, there's a little button there, so you turn it, and then you can see down here, this little thing retracts. So the idea is, is that you shove this in, press the button down, and that locks in. Now it's locked in, um, it won't come out, even if you turn it and press the button, it won't come out. Um, it's, oh no, it will, <laughs> it will, sorry, it will come out, uh, that's it, if you turn it and then press the button in hard, it will come out, so there you go. Um, and then what you can do is you can, uh, but you can't lock it back up, that's the thing I was going to say, you can't lock it back up because it wants you to put the thing back in, so if you accidentally remove the whole uh, chain or snake or armoured lock thing out of this on guard core, it's like, no, 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 I want you to put the lock back in before you can take the key out, which is quite a nice security feature. Uh, how do you reset it to put it back in the box? Well, you just get a big pokey stick and push down at the bottom and there you go, it resets and then you can remove the key. So there is a, a sort of bypass for it, but um, I like the idea that normally you put that in and then uh, even if you unlock the whole thing and remove it, you can't remove the key until you put the lock back in. On the other side, of course, um, you do have the uh, locking mechanism here. So let's just poke that down, pretend that something's in it. And you'll see that the other side is how it all locks. So this would stay permanently in there, hopefully, usually. And this side is a bit which when you uh, unlock it, it will come out. So yeah, um, it's, 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 I like the idea of this. Uh, you know, the fact that you can choose the sort of level of security of chain, um, I would not recommend any of these, I, I, I would go for the thickest hardened chain even then. Um, I'm not sure this is the right high security core. It does appear to have four sliders. From where I picked it, it seems to have four sliders on the top, four sliders on the bottom. Um, and I tried to do the thing where you put something in the side and give it a wiggle, but it, it doesn't wiggle open, doesn't jiggle open on this lock in particular. So that's a good thing, but can we pick it? Um, let's throw it in a vice and find out. Okay, so we're all locked up. Let's just check that that works. It's, it's only got a very small amount of movement to be open and closed, but um, yeah, it's the way it is, I guess. Now to tension it, this was hard. Um, I couldn't find a good way of doing it, so I had to put in one tension tool this way up and then one tension tool this way up, and it sort of provides some really uh, good torque. Um, uh, maybe I could try even a, a thicker one. I don't know. Let's have a see if we've got an even thicker one. Maybe I could try this and this. Would it fit? No, it's just a bit too much that. So let's try these two together. Um, yep. And then we go in. And what we're trying to do with this little flat flag is use pretty heavy tension and go across the top. So that's um, one, two, nothing three and feel it's binding so three and then four at the top is binding and just move that 
uh, hear that little click, then we can move that pick out. And then we just go along the top again. One, two, three, four. Okay, nothing. So we're going to try the bottom now. Starting with one, nothing, two, nothing, three, little, little something, little something more, and four now, right at the back, if I can get into it. No, nope. oh, pin one at the front, just a little movement. So we're gonna try the top again. Uh, one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing, or nothing okay so the bottom so these these do need to be like um, manipulated a couple of times so one for example I just touched and we are open there we go let's uh, take that out of the vice when I put it in the vice there's loads of crunching I don't think it's very good plastic um, and do we have an open yes we do look fully open so yeah, it's interesting picking these because they're sliders, but not overly difficult if you just uh, put enough tension on and, and and take your time. Anyway, so that is the um, uh, On Guard. Oh, oh everything wants to move away now. This is the On Guard uh, Revolver X4P Key. Hmm. Um, uh, 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 let me know what you think in the comments below. I do read them all, reply to as many as I can. If you like this video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, I'll see you all next time.